for change. Uh, I now call on uh, Deputies Thomas Brown and Seamus Healy, whom I understand are sharing. We are indeed, yeah. Deputy Tommy Brown. Thanks, Cahirlock. Um, well, uh, first of all, Cahirlock, um, uh, let me, on a personal level, uh, congratulate the uh, people who have been appointed uh, ministers or will be receiving their seals of office uh, uh, very shortly, uh, and, 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 and to, uh, to wish them well uh, personally. Uh, but I think uh, this is a, a sham administration. It's a, a kind of a temporary ghost administration. Administration we know that cannot last and won't last. Uh, years ago, uh, I think the, the great John Healy, uh, the political journalist, predecessor of, of uh, Stephen Collins and Pat Leahy, uh, he used to write again and again that the greatest disaster for the Irish ruling class would be if Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael ever got together. Because if they got together and became bedfellows, as they are tonight, uh, then the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the chance was there uh, for other parties, parties on the left of the political spectrum, uh, to organise an opposition and eventually to have a left majority government. Um, and and uh, this, this arrangement today, uh, this um, uh, arrangement whereby essentially uh, the you know a Fine Gael front uh, with a direction and operation from Fianna Fáil behind the scenes and then these unfortunately pathetic independent uh, if you like window dressing uh, ministers um, you know it's designed to ensure to postpone the inevitable uh, until the day when uh, as I said uh, parties of the left will be strong enough uh, to, uh, to form a government uh, for, for this country. Um, and uh, the Taoiseach said earlier, of course, that uh, he, he said that, um, you know, uh, politics, I quote, as we know it, uh, had changed forever. And of course, uh, the direct opposite is true. Uh, he talked about a uh, hundred days of action, uh, but you've wasted well over 70 days for two uh, very f uh, short and, and, and uh, very generalized kind of documents, uh, which, which don't indicate, I think, uh, of any dramatic new initiatives. It was actually I welcome the creation, by the way, of a Department of Housing in particular and the Department of Rural Affairs. Uh, I think in relation to the Department uh, of Housing, it's clear for a long time uh, that we needed to have a department focusing completely uh, on housing. It's very striking that the outgoing failed housing minister, the, the minister who didn't deliver, uh, uh, Minister Kelly, was lecturing us about what could be done from this point on. That's the minister who had a simple task over the last two years which was to get the production of new houses up to 2,000 plus a month and he simply failed to do that uh, and came up with all kinds of scams to ensure that there would be no direct social housing and that we'd still rely on the developers who bankrolled uh, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael uh, down through the years. But it is good at last that we do have a dedicated um, uh, Department of Housing and as I said Department of Rural Affairs, I support the rural colleagues and areas of rural Ireland I know well, I, I, I know that services have, uh, uh, you know, fallen, fallen down or have disappeared in so many critical areas, and I think it would be valuable that the, uh, and the new department, in, in general community affairs, w it would give um, uh, emphasis to this. But it, it has to be said, the government uh, already has a kind of hackneyed look. It's, it's the same old um, uh, failed Fine Gael ministers, um, essentially, uh, coming forward here after, um, you know, three and a half months of an interregnum uh, to offer for us a supposedly new and, and innovative uh, government because I think as um, Deputy Shortall here in front of me has said a number of times in recent days uh, the result of the 2016 election was that uh, Fine Gael was devastatingly defeated, lost 25 or 26 seats uh, and the Labour Party was almost obliterated. That was a rejection of those parties and indeed of all their policies and yet here we are tonight in a surreal atmosphere, somehow back again with the same people and the, and the same policies, uh, courtesy of the puppet masters over here uh, in uh, Fianna Fáil. But the reality, as I said, is that um, it is a Fianna Fáil, uh, Fine Gael, uh, government uh, for as long as it lasts, an acting administration. Um, and, uh, w you know, you could see this morning, or was it yesterday as well, I think, uh, Cahirlock, the kind of anguish that was on the faces of 
of the senior Fianna Fáil uh, deputies from the last doll, uh, said, uh, perhaps led by deputies like Deputy McGrath, they saw themselves going into an honest arrangement of a uh, Fine Gael Fianna Fáil administration, which to be fair to the Taoiseach, he offered uh, Fianna Fáil, I presume with rotating Taoiseachs and so on, he, uh, he, they saw themselves as part of that kind of government uh, and instead Fianna Fáil decided uh, that they'd engage in this uh, incredible uh, and uh, untransparent uh, arrangement whereby uh, they will be the directors and uh, Fine Gael and the unfortunate independents uh, will, be, will be the front people. And of course, uh, Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael, uh, alliance. It's so logical. I mean, if you look back to 2008, collapse of the economy, I remember Deputy Kenny uh, leading uh, Fine Gael, uh, for example, the night of the blanket bank guarantee, when only the Labour Party stood aside, you led Fine Gael into the lobbies behind Fianna Fáil. You backed Fianna Fáil at every turn down to the, to the 2011 election. And in turn, they returned a the favour then. They came along, and we noted throughout the last all on key financial measures, and, and uh, remember Deputy Ross and myself observing it on a number of occasions, Fianna Fáil walked that way in support, or, uh, in support of Fine Gael. Uh, so the, the, what I used to call in discussions in my former party, the Iron Alliance of Irish politics, uh, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, in every county council, in every city council practically in the country, uh, that Iron Alliance, uh, it now is beginning to clearly emerge here uh, tonight uh, as the government uh, of the country. And there is no difference, no fundamental difference, I think, as other speakers have said. Uh, if you look across the range of policies on the economy, on banking, on housing, the disastrous performance in housing, uh, on health, disastrous performance uh, in health. Uh, and I wonder, by the way, will uh, Minister Varadkar, uh, who was such a, a roy uh, observer of the Department of Health when he was the actual minister, he could come out and tell us in the media again and again, such and such a thing is happening. The ENT, uh, waiting list. It's 18 months, but we, we could work on it and we could organise. And even this morning, uh, you know, coming out uh, with, with these kind of observations from outside. Uh, will he be doing the same then in social protection? Uh, will he be telling us, you know, how we could organise things better uh, in terms of benefits and so on? Because uh, he's been a solid, I, I mean, I think a fundamental failure uh, in the department uh, that he's now uh, uh, leaving. So, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, they're bedfellows at last, uh, which uh, Michal Martin, Deputy Michal Martin, uh, you know, the chief puppeteer, um, and as I said, these unfortunate independents, uh, the, the dancing puppets in front of the doll. Um, and they are so called independents, I suppose, because they went out with the rest of the independents, the rest of us, and campaigned for fundamental changes, for an end to water taxes, uh, for a proper an emergency housing uh, budget and an emergency housing building program uh, for, for a uh, major action on health uh, and disability. And of course, as a previous speaker has said, there's a sense in which Deputy Ross and Deputy Nocton are coming home. Uh, they're coming home to their party tonight. Uh, they put on those, that old blue shirt again, and uh, they're, uh, they're togging out uh, with the rest of the blue shirt government or the front of that government. They're coming home coming home, uh, swing low, sweet chariot, uh, these ministers, uh, you know, and they show how clearly this is an actual, the front people in this government, it's an actual uh, Fine Gael government. Now, uh, Deputy McGrath, um, who has made a lot of promises, uh, we remember Deputy McGrath in Dublin Bay North, in North East, North Central, as the deputy who propped up the Bertie Ahern government for nearly two years, when there was no need, when my uh, colleague here beside me was happy to go into government, the leader of the Green Party, and to prop up uh, Mr. Ahern and Mr. Cowan for three or four years and lead the country to disaster. I found your speech this morning. I found the deputy speech this morning extraordinary. He has an extraordinary hard neck, the leader of the Green Party. I met people as well, but I didn't betray people. I didn't betray people like, like you have done. You made commitments. This is the second time you've done this. This is the second time you've done this, but you were never an independent Deputy McGrath and you were never on the left. Uh, and um, Deputy, Deputy Zappone and myself were on a couple of programmes putting the independent case. And you might remember, uh, Deputy Zappone, you were joking that 
uh, or I was joking rather, you'd be the Minister for Education, I'd be the Minister for Finance. If we got enough independence, enough left people, we'd run the government uh, and we'd uh, get, you know, get rid of Deputy Noonan and his, uh, his conservative policies. But the point is, you know, what can be done? What can, can somebody like yourself actually do this year in 2016? Because the reality is the, the 2016 budget was decided, it was fixed. Th thanks, thanks uh, Cahirlik. This 2016 budget is decided on all the key elements. And if you read the stability program update, you'd see that we suddenly, by the stroke of a pen from our European colleagues in Eurostat, we lost a big chunk of money. And, and Deputy Noonan, he's not here now, he's, he's very anxiously worried about this. What, what's going to happen? So the, the, what room is there for, for manoeuvre in the Fine Gael, of Fianna Fáil, so-called independent government? Uh, there is none. So in conclusion, uh, in conclusion, um, uh, Cahirlock, uh, I think we, we do still desperately need a government of change, um, I believe a government, a broadly based left of central government. And what we have to do in the few months that this government will last is to try and build together on these benches, try and build a strong alternative uh, to Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael uh, and uh, to ensure that uh, we do have a voice uh, for the people that uh, desperately need it most of all. Thanks. Thank Dan. you. Deputy Seamus Helios, four minutes.